We're at Wood Walton Fen today. It's our first visit this year. I've found the best time to come here is in the spring and summer. Wood Walton Fen is a wildlife trust reserve and is part of the Great Fen project. We've just entered the reserve and we've got flag iris on view. The reserve has a grid system of mown paths and water channels which were formed from old peat diggings. My favourite part of the reserve is the walk past the Rothschild bungalow down towards the northern reed bed hide. You can hear birds all around at the moment but it's now impossible to see them with all the leaves that are now on the trees, unfortunately. This is one of the water channels I was talking about that crisscrossed the reserve. And this is the northern reed bed hide. Let's check it out. The hide obviously looks out over the northern reed bed and the swifts, martins and swallows are now back in force and it's mainly swifts on view at the moment. Very strange, mysterious birds, swifts, spend the majority of their lives on the wing. They eat and sleep on the wing and I think mate too on the wing. Well this is not a swift, it's actually a hobby, just flown over the hide hunting over the reed bed, looking for maybe swifts or martins or swallows, but also any dragonflies and damselflies it can catch. And also, surprise, surprise, grey lag geese are on view. We've actually just heard a bittern booming. And indeed, there it goes. Unfortunately, very distant view, but at least it is a view of this very secretive bird. It flies off into the far trees. We can hear reed warblers and sedge warblers in the reeds, but it's only the reed bunting that's showing at the moment. And this northern hide is uh, a very good place to see these birds, marsh harriers. Most of the films I've made here feature these birds. Unfortunately, they're not uh, very close today. Looks like there's a couple of pairs out there. There was an article in Birdwatching magazine this month about uh, rarities, which explained how sometimes it was easier to see rare birds like marsh harriers than, say, golden eagles. For example, there's only 320 to 380 pairs of marsh harriers in the UK, and there's now 440 pairs of golden eagles, mostly in Scotland, but now you can actually see them again in England from the RSPB Horswater Reserve. So although marsh harriers are rarer, uh, they are easy to see. And we've got a male just on the end of the uh, log there pruning itself. I think there are two pairs out there, two females and two males. And there's the other male through the uh, shimmering heat haze about a quarter of a mile away in the dead tree there. Okay, moving on, we've got a really ragged looking speckled wood butterfly on view there and we can hear sedge warblers mainly and the odd reed warbler too in among the reeds but uh, certainly not showing at the moment and just settled on the grass in front of us a dragonfly just see its wings glistening there it's a four spotted chaser okay this is the second hive we're going to check out today it's the Rothschild mere hide. See what we can see from here. And on the man-made floating island there we've got a pair of common tern. Should be thinking about nesting now. Uh, carrion crow flies into the top of a nearby tree. And a lone widgeon. Most will have gone back to their breeding grounds now but apparently some do stay behind. We've also got Canada geese there and uh, tufted duck. Also lots of other common stuff. Mute swans, grey lag geese and coot. Looking skywards, we've got a red kite wheeling around. Now a really common sight in Northamptonshire and now spreading into Cambridgeshire and beyond. Also got a Peacock butterfly, quite a ragged looking one. Just flown onto the plant in front of the hide. And uh, one of the common terns is now in flight. 
very similar looking birds to uh, arctic terns almost identical apart from uh, common terns have a black tip on the end of their beak just so if you're out and about and you see a turn like this with just a red beak then it's an arctic turn okay moving on we're just going to make our way slowly back to the entrance of the reserve now and enjoy the sunshine, see what else we can see and uh, yeah, another hobby. As we've been walking around the reserve we've seen quite a few hobbies wheeling through the sky looking for prey. It's an amazing sight to see hobbies catching dragonflies and they'll grab the dragonfly and pull the wings off and you can see the wings floating down to the ground glinting in the sunlight. Amazing. We just heard a cuckoo in these trees. Very difficult to pinpoint where it is though. And here we are back at the entrance to the reserve or the exit. There's a few more people around now but we're going to head home and I'll see you next time.